So how bad would it suck if you bought an HDMI cable that says it's 4K, put it in your house when your home's being built, sheetrock was up, hooked up your 4K TV and it didn't work. Yeah, this company makes them along with a bunch of others. Stay tuned, let's, let's go into the details on them. All right guys, Tech Tip Tuesday, Eric with The Loop here in Boise. Today we're gonna do a fun one, especially for people like me, because we call out products out there that just don't work. For those that weren't aware, the HDMI industry is flooded, absolutely flooded with complete crap. And we're gonna test some HDMI cables so you guys can see what is snake oil and what is real. We then went and jumped onto Amazon, bought a $40 HDMI cable. We also got one of our, one of our cables, manufactured by Bullet Train, AV Pro Edge, but this cable right here is about $250, right? So you're going 40 bucks, 250, I might as well just buy this one and save the money, right? Wrong, we're gonna go into it, we're gonna show you all about it. All right, so when we're looking at this test equipment, Meridio, certified by ISF, meaning that they are guaranteed that if it says it's outputting a 4K 18 gig stream, it's outputting a 14 gig 18, stream, 18 gig stream. So when we start 3840 by 2160, so that's a full 4K stream, for this signal to make it to here, we have to get a full 18 gigs for that to happen, okay? So let's go ahead and have some fun here. So you can see here, we're still broadcasting at 3840 by 2160. We have no signal. We're not getting anything. Zero data transfer at 4K 18 gig, all right? So you can see nothing's getting through. Bullet train. What I'm gonna show you now, we're gonna go ahead and do this, okay? You can see there's the whole cable, nothing special about it. Our sender is still sending that full 3840, 2160, 4K, 18 gig. All right, so you can see it's passing the whole signal. So these cables are not the same. I think we need to cut apart this one from Amazon. Their braid on the outside really isn't even a braid. It just kind of falls apart. So we can see that. We're then, we'll then go and look at the inside of it. So we'll go ahead and peel that foil off. Let's see what we got inside, okay. So you can see here, here's our individual wires. They did do a, a couple things good here in that they shielded some of them. The problem is of course that it doesn't matter if they shield it or not because the cable doesn't pass the signal anyways. Obviously they're not doing anything here over fiber. They're doing everything over copper and copper actually maxes out at 10.2 gigs. It's physically impossible. So I actually put a link down at the bottom that will take you over to that and then you can actually see it on a certified site. So right here we have what's probably our power pair and our drain, some other conductors for sink and such. It's just another false advertising, false product that doesn't actually even do what it says it does on Amazon. So completely different cable. One of the first things you should notice is that there just aren't as many conductors. You can see back here, this braid is actually Kevlar. So they do that to ensure that strength, make sure they're not gonna have any damage. And actually here's the biggest part of bullet train cables is right here. Actually the fiber that's inside it that they're using to carry the stream. So if you look, there's actually four individual fiber streams there, okay? So in the connector, it's doing the copper to fiber conversion, then at the other end it converts it back and there's actually your fiber. And the crazy part is you guys that the fiber is not even that big. This is a coating that they put over the fiber. All right, so there you go guys. That's broken down to one individual strand of fiber. So it's actually a fiber composite. I can bend it and it doesn't break. And these guys run three of them, three more. So you have four total strands. Give us all kinds of flexibility down the road. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. That was fun. Kids, don't try that at home. Box knives are not to be designed as screwdrivers. Difference between Bullet Train and our $40 uh, Amazon, basically useless HDMI cable. I see this too often, where specs and scope of what things will supposedly do is here, what actually gets delivered is down here. No matter what it is, look for some certifications to guarantee it. Also, keep in mind what you're buying. Look at the risk, right? This cable, huge risk getting this routed, getting it set up, getting all that done. 
then you find out it doesn't work? Was it worth the $150 savings? Not to mention that then in five or 10 years, your house is obviously sheetrocked, it's completely done. You can't do anything with this cable, it's then useless. This one, companies like us can come in, cut the ends off, put fiber adapters on there, you're up and going for whatever speed you need. All right, that wraps up this Tech, tech Tip Tuesday. Make sure and comment down below. Let us know what you want to see. Make sure and subscribe when we put the next one out, when we rip apart a receiver, pull apart a Control 4 controller, pull apart some other stuff so that you guys can see what's actually going on inside with these products. All right, if you thought this one was good, like it so that we know so we can make some more of them for you, okay? All right, guys, have a great Tuesday.